Well, hello guys. It's Donna from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make a delicious creamy chicken noodle soup. And it's going to be so delicious, guys. And in front of you are all the delicious ingredients that we are going to use. First over here, I have some heavy cream. We're going to be using about a cup of that. I have some extra large egg noodles right here. And extra wide egg noodles. Um, I have a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder. I have a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I have some salt and pepper here. I have a carton of chicken broth. And in this measuring cup, I have um, four cups of water and I put two tablespoons of better than bouillon. So that'll give us like eight cups of broth. But the better than bouillon has so much better taste than this chicken broth. So in this cup, I have three cups of um, grilled chicken breasts are already cooked. I got the Tyson and all I did was cut it. You don't have to stand up there and cook chicken breast just to do this soup. Okay, I have some butter right here. And down here, I have some matchstick carrots. I like to use these in my soup. I got a medium onion chopped, three stalks of celery chopped. And I have about two tablespoons of fresh parsley in this dish. And here I have five cloves of garlic that I put in my press. And guys, I forgot to tell you. I pointed everything else out, but in this here um, cup, it's a quarter cup of flour in that little dish there. So we're going to be using that. Now, also, let me get the camera over here. We are going to be making this soup in the Power XL Stir Max. Um, a lot of you guys reached out to me after um, I did the chili in it. And they said if I was to make anything else in it to film it. So that's what we're doing today. So it is preheating. Once it preheats, then we're going to start adding all our goodies to the pot. Okay, guys, it's almost preheated. And you see I have the lid on it. It heats up quicker when you put the lid on. So it should start stirring in a moment. There we go. Now, what we want to do, I got like this whole stick of butter except for um, about one quarter of it. But I just cut it in four, so I'm going to put that in. I'll see if I need any more. And we want that to melt. Okay. Okay. Then once that melt, we're going to add our veggies. Okay. I'm just moving it around so it'll melt better, well, faster. Okay. Here we go. And you see it's rotating again. Okay. Now, what we want to do is add the onion. Could you see this real good? I'll just be cooking away and you won't be seeing nothing. Okay. Now I'm going to put the onion in. And the celery. Mmm, yum. Smell good already. And we're going to throw in those carrots. Okay. Here we go. You see how that looks? Okay, and it'll start stirring. Mmm, it smells good. Here we go. Mmm, guys, that smells good.
It's a big pile of carrots there. <laughs> okay. And it'll stop and it'll rotate back the other way. I think I'm going to add that other chunk of butter in there. So that'll be a whole stick of butter, guys. Okay. I just feel better. I'm with more butter. Can't go wrong with butter. Okay, toss him on in. Here we go. I started to put the whole stick in it first. I said, no, nah, we might not need it. Now, I'm going to throw in that garlic. I'm putting it over here and then it can get mixed around. That way it won't burn. Mmm, yum. Okay. Now I have the flour and what I'm going to do is move this out a little. Like I said, just do you when it comes to this because I want this flour to get distributed pretty good. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty. Mmm, that garlic smells so good, guys. You should smell this. So what I'm going to do is let this mix around for a while. And that way the um, flour will cook. And then we can start adding our broth. Okay, now it's going back the other way. And what I'm going to do is start adding this chicken broth. I'll give it, I'll let it spin one more time. And you can just move it around just a little, just so that, make sure that flour is cooking good. And you can see it is starting to thicken there. Okay. I just wanted to cook off. This garlic is killing me. Oh my goodness. It's something about garlic. A lot of times, I like, I just prefer putting it in my garlic press because it seems like it makes it more fragrant than when you just smash it and throw it in there. Even chopped is better when you press it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is start adding this chicken broth. And I'm adding the better than bouillon chicken broth first and what I'll do um, I'll add the other chicken broth after this okay and we want this to um, cook until it starts thickening up okay let me put the rest in okay now I'm just gonna move this like this make sure it's loose and I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook for about five minutes okay guys let's see what we have here mm, yum now what I want to do now is add the onion powder and the garlic powder mmm yum and we're going to add our Italian seasoning. This is going to make it taste so good, guys. And see how it's boiling? Now, what we want to do is add some salt and pepper. Okay. I like to add the pepper in the area where I can see it. You can see how much is going in. Okay. Now what we want to do is add the rest of that, some of that chicken broth. Mmm, yum. Yeah. 
Because remember, we got to put the chicken and the noodles in here also. Okay. Now, I'm going to let this go for about five more minutes. And it starts boiling. And then we're going to let that just go for about maybe 20 minutes. Okay, guy, our stir max is doing its thing here. Now you hear it beeping. Now it just went to 40 minutes, okay? And it's like more on like a simmer. So what we're going to do is let this cook for like, um, let me see, 25, about 25 minutes. And then we'll put our noodles and our chicken in. I'm going to put the lid back on and let's let this go. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to add the egg noodles. Put those in. Okay. Oh, it smells good in here, guys. That um, garlic, oh my goodness. Now, also... We are going to add a cup of heavy cream. Okay. It smells delicious. All righty. Got the heavy cream here. And I turned the pot up off of simmer so that way it can boil because you want these noodles to boil. Okay, and we're going to add our chicken. Mmm, yum. Look at that, guys. This is going to be delicious, and I'm trying to tell you, it smells delicious. Okay, now it's starting to stir, and I'm going to put the lid back on this and let it go for about 15 minutes until the noodles are done. So I'll see you then. And guys, I knew it was something I was forgetting. The parsley. <laughs> okay. Let me add that parsley in here. I was like, what is in my container here? I left it sitting on the table. Okay. Now we'll let this cook until the noodles get done. And our soup will be ready. Okay, guys, it just finished this last stir. So what I'm going to do is turn this off and I'm going to dip some of this up and show you how it looks and tell you how it tastes. Well, hello, guys, I am back and look at our creamy chicken noodle soup. Look at this, guys. Mm, yum. Let's give this a taste and look at the broth. Look at that. Nice and creamy. Mmm, yum. Okay, let me give this a taste. Ooh, still hot. Mmm. Oh, guys, that is delicious. Mmm. And the chicken is broke up all through here. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. I can't get over this broth. It is so nice and creamy. Oh, my goodness. Guys, you're really going to like this recipe. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. A little piece of chicken on there. Mm. You have to make this for your family, guys. Um, and that stir, that Power XL Stir Max multi cooker. I mean, you could do that in a regular pot. You could do this recipe in a regular pot. But I just love my multi cooker. I am going to think of other things to fix in it. Um, and my recipe turned out great, just like my chili recipe. So, for this recipe and more, go to flavorswithatwist.com. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. 
So this is flavors with a twist. My creamy, ooh, this is hot. My creamy chicken noodle soup. Look at this, guys. And I mean to tell you, it's delicious. Make some of this for your family. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.